everybody to the channel what's so crazy man i know this is a special video because we got people cosplaying as characters today this is a special video man we got do flamingo you guys told me to react to this video once again i know i checked this out before but we got people who've never seen this video before and i had to bring the special lady today hey it's rogue behavior i know you guys seen me before i come here a lot uh, follow me on TikTok, YouTube, and Instagram at rogue.behavior. And y'all should know who I am already. Uh -huh. let's Look see, at me. Hey, let's see the stand ovation. Let's see the, let's, see the, let's see the whole fit. Like, we got to see the whole outfit. Yeah. Ooh. One piece. Mm -hmm. One hope. Okay. Okay. Body in, man. Hey, okay. okay. Uh, hey, everybody. My name is Christina. This is my first time. Very excited. Uh, you can follow me on Christina D. Weeb on anything and everything. I'm cosplaying One Piece character because One Piece is my favorite anime. Cosplaying Whitebeard. If you know, you know. The One Piece is real. <laughs> Cosplay Don Flamingo. And I was like, I feel like that would be too much for the people. Oh, so, yeah. Glasses, too. Hey. Everybody yeah, got to wear the glasses, yeah. though. The drip. The drip. Hey. Hey, y'all. Yeah, 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 here. And you guys can follow me and Miss Yadi Yadi at TikTok and Bossy Yadi and Instagram and um Yadi Shaguli <laughs> and does that just a dress? Okay, like a dress. dress. Yadi, okay, you must have the dress on us. Okay. Everybody, my name is Arisu. I do cosplaying and anime content. You can follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Majin underscore Arisu R I Z U U two U's. And today I'm cosplaying as you should already know Hinata from Naruto. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, it is finally time <laughs> for the most anticipated yet riskiest <laughs> trial of all time. <laughs> yeah, I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. I'm playing press your luck with this one. But fuck it. We do this for the people, nigga. So let's go and go ahead and get it started. Coming in at a whopping 10 feet tall. No exaggeration. Ten feet tall. And with so many crimes Bro, committed, like I can't even name them all right now. The heavenly we did all the same things. Don Quixote do Flamingo. So y'all already know how this goes. The evidence is on deck, ready to be presented. So go ahead, grab some popcorn or something to snack on. Cause without further ado, exhibit A. Don Quixote do Flamingo, one of the seven warlords of the sea and the king of Dressrosa. His name is feared throughout all the seas, and his drip <laughs> is unmatched. How did the heavenly <laughs> demon become one of the biggest kingpins in the world? Well, we have to go back a good 33 years in the past. Now, do Flamingo was a celestial dragon. Now, if you don't know what a celestial dragon is, allow me to explain. These are the world nobles, AKA the biggest heads in the fucking world. Ooh. Brother, ooh. And I mean, come on, bro. They ain't even hiding it. Look at them. They literally had their heads. They're Oh my Look God. at that. <laughs> you know what? Mommy of that movie, The No, you might really like the little girl. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. The same hairstyle. Fucking alfalfa <laughs> ass, jack jack ass Bro. shit on the head. Now, Saint Homing, <laughs> Doflamingo's father, decided one day, everybody, I have an announcement to make. I would like to go live with the peasants. <laughs> he did say that, though. Now, this is a very big deal because the Don Quixote family are world nobles living in the holy land of Marijua, basically motherfucking Beverly Hills. And Doflamingo's dad decided, I want to go live with the regular n Cause why not? And this is some of the <laughs> stupidest you could possibly do. Because everybody hates celestial dragons. Cause they enslave people. They're assholes. They don't even consider themselves human because they are the top of society. So the whole family ends up leaving and giving up their celestial dragon status. And obviously Lil Delphi wasn't fing with it. Bro was already complaining. Lil nigga was like, Daddy, where are the slaves? And why do I have on this peasant clothing? Oh, calm down, son. We're gonna be living a simple, peaceful life now. Some bullshit. Now, it's very Bro, clear that Doflamingo's dad doesn't have an ounce of evil in his body, like the other celestial dragons. He's a simple man, mm -hmm. but an ignorant one, and he was about to get hit with a reality check. So the next day, him and Dofi walk into town. So his dad walks up to the vendor and says, I want to buy some apples. So the vendor's like, oh, tally home, brother. You must be new here. But this dumb ass nigga ends up saying, oh, yes, me and my family are from Marijua. <laughs> You 
like, what? Nope. So everybody shook me like, what the fuck? If you from here. a reach, why you a celestial <laughs> dragon, ain't you? And this dumb ass nigga is like, oh, oh, no, no, no. We we used to be celestials, but we're human now. And then it didn't help that Dolph oh, just started going off on everybody, <laughs> calling everybody <laughs> peasants and shit. So they was cooked. Because later that night, they burned down their damn house. They is trying to kill these they niggas. They on some Salem witch trials type shit. Burn the celestials and burn them. So they end up running for their life for days. Cause a dumbass daddy was so fucking ignorant, thinking that a <laughs> celestial dragon could live with regular people. And this man, Dolph Flamingo, was shook. As a kid, this man went from the top of the world to the fucking gutter. Him and his brother got beat Dang. for trying to steal bread because they had no money. Look how smart they can look like that. They don't Bruh. care. Uh, people just laugh now. Look at this bad. A nigga with a panda head. <laughs> I'd be damned if I see nah, a nigga a with a panda head laughing at me. Like, look at little bro. This is terrible. And they mama end up getting <laughs> sick. And she end up dying. Dang, so at ass. this point, Dolph Flamingo rightfully so hates his dad. As he should. This energy. nigga's an idiot. You broke, you stink, <laughs> and now your wife dead. It can't get no worse, right? Wrong. Yeah, the people end up finding them. And I don't even know if I can say this word on YouTube, so I'm just going to bleep it. They them these Dang. people start going off on them i kid you not bro right here said hang that nigga now i got the rope right here and they just going off on them because they are celestial dragons they hate them it don't matter if doflamingo's dad is different you're still a celestial dragon to them the people who treat commoners like garbage so at this point this was the breaking point for dofi everybody just stops and just looks at him they could feel this little nigga's anger from down there then bro just started talking like a rabbit dog and then it like happened the, the man who locked his conqueror's <laughs> hockey and this little nigga knocked every single person out with his aura. <laughs> he like that. Now, you see, here's the thing with this. I'm not counting this as a charge. This is an act of self-defense. They hung his ass, hung his daddy ass, and his brother. Yeah. So even though this man broadcasted that he got murder on his mind, he getting let off the hook with this one. So after that life-altering incident... Dofi goes to this run-down ass shack and ends up meeting this nasty ass snot nose hunchback fat motherfucker. Ew, brother, oh ew. God, this nasty ass nigga treble. So this nasty <laughs> SOB says, Dad, so I heard you knocked out all those people with your hockey. No, me and my boys will start glazing you if you pass my test. So Treble gives him a gun and the Ito Ito no me. And this man, Doflamingo, did not waste no time. He had murder on his mind. He went back <laughs> to his dad and oh, said, yeah, fuck you, old nigga, and blew <laughs> his brains out. Murdered his own father. Dad, I know he left no, my dad. dad. Yeah. Dad. Wow, that's messed up. Man. That's I don't blame him, but I mean, yeah, you can't blame him. Uh, <laughs> I, like, I, I do what I don't. Talk. Came to life. She. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. That's kind of crazy. You gonna kill your dad? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Me personally. I, mean, no. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Cold blood right in front of his brother, and this right here was a good old case of patricide. Murdering your own father. <laughs> so after Dolphamingo murdered his father, he actually brought his head back to Marijuwa to try to get his status back. But they said, hell <laughs> not, nah, leave, peasant. So he ends up going <laughs> back to Treble. And him, Diamante, know, Pika, and Virgo said, hmm, let's glaze this little nigga to the ends of the earth. And from that day, the Don Quixote family <laughs> was born. And they was not Life. playing no games. These four niggas would do anything for Dofi. Take, Whoa. for example, Yo. one day, Treble <laughs> 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 So he asked oh, him, hey, King, what happened? Ah, oh, man, some guys roughed me up. I wish they were dead. <laughs> okay. These dudes find the dudes that jumped them. And Trouble comes up to him and oh, says, You're the guys who roughed yep. up Dorothy, right? <laughs> that little runt. We were just teasing him, that's all. Oh, hey, bro, we was just teasing him, I swear. Shut up. Damn. 
Yeah, he said, what, 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 what? with nobody. If Dofi wanted you dead, guess what? You're dying. If he wanted your turf, guess what? Get the packing. This man took racketeering to another level as a 10 year old at that. And this was the wildest one. Yeah. Diamante finds bro and says, Oh my glorious king, what happened to your glorious knee? Ah, oh, man, I just tripped on a crack in the road. Oh, and where's this crack exactly? And I kid you not, oh, this nigga the crack. Diamante finds the crack in the road and says, Fuck it, I might as well level the whole town. So that's that what they did. They bro, what? The whole town. And from that day forward, the Don Quixote family was nah, feared. Niggas cleared the streets when they saw Dofi walking. Hide your kids, hide your wife, ain't nobody <laughs> safe. <laughs> the, the oh, wow. Trial. Man, Exhibit A wrap man. up. Patricide. Yeah. Racketeering, mass destruction, multiple counts of murder. <laughs> murder. <Exhibit> Mario Kart. <laughs> yes. Y'all righty, ladies and gentlemen. I now present to you Exhibit B, Joker. We now fast forward 30 years later. And at this point in time, Doflamingo is the most influential underworld broker in the game. And he is also one of the seven warlords of the sea. And before he became a warlord and they froze his bounty, this man had a whopping bounty of 340 million berries. <laughs> now imagine. Hey, who want to get spoiled by him, though? 340 million berries? We could do all that money. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's that's a amount. If All that nigga money wasn't a warlord. God knows how high that shit would be. But anyways, we now focus our attention to Mock Town and specifically Bellamy. Now, as we know, before this even happened, Bellamy fought Luffy and got absolutely mm. embarrassed. One shot it to be precise. Uh -huh. It looks like yeah. Bellamy and his crewmate, who I ain't gonna lie, I forgot his name. I think his name is like Sarquisa or Sharkisha or some <laughs> shit. I don't know. But it looks like they're yeah. fighting each other and no. falling out. But that is not the case at all. Because you see this nigga Dolphy sitting in the corner, controlling them with his string string fruit. And this man is pissed off for obvious reasons. Because this nigga Bellamy is trash. He got one shot by a human condom. And it was under Doflamingo's banner. The Bro. Bellamy pirates were under him. So obviously that is a hit to his reputation. So Dolphy said, fuck it, you useless piece of shit. And controls old boy like a puppet and slices him. <laughs> Yeah. Had this man know. Bellamy begging for his <laughs> life. And what makes this kind of sad? Let me give y'all a flashback real quick. Back when Bellamy was a straight young bull, bro used to look up to Doflamingo. He wanted to be just like him. I don't know why, bro is a terrible influence. It must have been the drip of the ore or some shit. But Doflamingo was his inspiration. But when they first met, Doflamingo clearly stated, if you ever lose under my flag, my Jolly Roger, I'm going to beat your ass and make you unemployed. And well, the rest is history. But of course, Bellamy's still begging yeah, like, but, but please, please. D -d 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 just give me one more chance, my glorious king. But no. Duffy looked at him like, Bellamy, how much you think my fit costs? Uh, 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 uh. 30,000? 56 million berries, broke ass nigga. Damn, this alcohol, 56 million dollars for the kid. Broke nigga. Oh, 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 oh. That's like, so this that's man, he got up and walked away and Good. said, my fit costs more than your whole bounty. And I have absolutely no use for broke Excellent. ass niggas. And slices this nigga. Damn, you say he too broke. Bro just assaulted his most notorious glazer while firing him at the same time. You know well, ain't that a hell of a way to get fired on your day off? But we really don't even get to see a glimpse of how strong this dude is until the Summit War, aka the grand opening for the greatest donut shop of all time, yes. Crispy Aces. Hey, hey, so hey. Before the war even started, hey, yeah, that, that was, was messed up. That was so messed up. I'm not a ass nigga. That was like, that, 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 that donut oh my son. <laughs> God, that, that donut joke is crazy. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> Cut the camera. Cozy tongue. <laughs> But the first victim of this of? man's bloodlust was none other than <laughs> Lil Lord's big ugly ass boy. So Lil Lord's is just stomping on niggas, trying to make his way to save El Donut. But this big boy ends up getting jumped in brutal fashion too. So it started off with Kuma, which I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I was about to roast the shit out this man, but I just caught up on the manga. And after reading that yeah. man, so I, I, I yeah. don't have no <laughs> Even though you built like an egg with some damn chicken legs, Ooh, you chicken off legs. the hook, my nigga. So anyways, Kuma shots the shit out this nigga. Had this man or spazzing 
And this man was so cooked. But he said, hell no. I'm at least taking out somebody with me. So he ends up aiming for Dofi. And bro just looked at it like, really, nigga? So bro ends up destroying the whole wall. <laughs> but Brody ain't hit shit. Because you see this guy flying thinking he's Cardi. Hitting that bitch. Oh. And he talking shit to Yo. him in here too. <laughs> What's wrong, pussy? The donut man is right there. Donut and you man. knew Oris was cooked because Dofi made Don't this man see that. Story. That's how you know your screen time over. So Dofi Mingo amputated, bro. Cut that big ass leg clean off. And he just laughing his ass <laughs> off and saying, this is what you get for being a dripless Neanderthal. And then Gecko Moria's hog back, bowling back, pin built back. ass. And with that, <laughs> yeah, she, 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 she. <laughs> Yo. And raps. Them boys murder Lil Lors, but Don Flamingo was not done racking up these murder charges. So later on, Viking Humpty Dumpty ends up pulling up and saying, Don Flamingo, fuck you in that feathered ass coat, nigga. So bro runs at him and tries to swing at him, but he stops. It's the started talking shit, saying, What's wrong, water buffalo? Are you too mesmerized from all my sauce? And y'all already know what he did. He hit bro with his strings. He wasn't moving an inch. So all these other okay, dudes are running up. And yeah, a <laughs> massacre was about to ensue. Bro right here runs up. He gets his balls chopped off. And Dofi just started puppeteering this man and making him kill his own men. This was just tragic, but also oh, despicable. You made this man kill his own men. That's fucked up, bro. And while bro is massacring these dudes, this man gives off one of the greatest speeches I've ever heard. And everything he yeah, said in this speech is 100% facts. Now, obviously, I can't play the audio, but I'm going to text it out for we're gonna do a quick English project real quick, so here we go. Pirates are evil. The Marines are righteous? Mm. These terms have always changed throughout the course of history. Kids who have never seen peace and kids who have never seen war have different values. Mm. Those who stand at the top determine what's wrong and what's right. Mm. This very mm. place is a neutral ground. Justice will prevail, you say? Of course it will. Whoever wins the war becomes justice. <laughs> Damn. This motherfucker was cooking. <laughs> Even though he's he crazy, he is actually speaking legitimate, legitimate facts, and you can't deny mm -hmm. it. But after this, I ain't even gonna lie to you. Duffy just basically had a drip off of a crocodile for the rest of the war. So I'm just translate this whole conversation for you. Oh, hell no. Gator boy, my nigga. I got a proposition for you. You got drip. I got drip. You gets money. I gets money. So what you say? Tag team? Man, fuck you, you pink feather flamboyant feminine ass nigga. Oh, oh no, nah. shut the fuck up with that fake ass gold claw. I know you got that shit from Timu. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> you tobacco loving, chain smoking son of a bitch. <laughs> Now, most of this fight sadly happened off screen, but hey, only Oda know how long this sauce off went on for. So fast forward mm. all the way to the end of the war and you just see explosions in the background. And the reason why is because Doflamingo was jumping this 60% body fat eggplant because he basically had an assassination <laughs> order from somebody <laughs> up high. But Moria somehow lived. I, I don't know how, but it don't Nobody matter, knows. nigga. That's still attempted murder. Now. It's time to move what? three years, years later. later. And at this time, Doflamingo's criminal enterprise is thriving. This nigga is anime El Chapo. And I mean, this man did everything from arms dealing and gun running to massive drug labs. One in Punk Hazard and one in Dress Rosa mm -hmm. producing smile fruits for Kaido and had none other than Caesar Clown cooking that shit up. And I kid you not, these smile fruits was niggas up for example take a look at wano smile fruits hit wano like crack in the 80s this man is solely responsible for supplying these niggas to cause a drug epidemic look how this shit hit neighborhoods in wano bro they thought these hoes was just regular apples hell no nah. these hoes was laced and everybody was eating them even the kids and they lost all emotions except for smile and laughter they basically ate bro, joker what? venom yeah hell nah the Don Quixote family yeah. needs to change their name to the Don Quixote cartel expeditiously. So now cartel. we end up catching up with <laughs> Dofi at one of his Dofi parties. Because you know what they say? There ain't a party like a Dofi party. I was thinking about oh that. Oh my gosh, I knew it, yo. Bro, bro. He got, and then he got all the money too, though. And he got the girl, so it makes sense, yeah. Oh my gosh. Ooh, and he gets a call from Punk Hazard saying, Oh, young master, the straw hats, law, and G5 is fucking with our product. Operations have halted. So this man took extreme measures and basically said, Motherfucker, you think that's my problem? I got bitches here. Oh my God, don't be coming. <laughs> Hold on, ladies. The party's just getting started. Motherfucker, blow up the island. 
I'll send somebody to pick up Caesar's bitch ass later. Now, sadly, Doflamingo's plan to blow up the lab failed miserably because of Caesar's <laughs> dumbass. So this man was so pissed off, he said, fuck it. Niggas can't get shit done. So I'm gonna do it myself. So this man web slinged all the way to Punk Hazard. So later on, while G5 basically has the island under control, this man, Dofi, flies in saucy as fuck and just hits a superhero landing. And everybody in G5 is stunned. They like, oh my God, that drip. The aura is Doflamingo. And look at this 10 foot nigga towering over these midgets. Nigga, fuck being a drug lord. Go to the league. And Dofi <laughs> ain't waste no time. Bro said, The beat go off? Hey. Hey, okay, then my beat go off? <laughs> This man knocked Bro. out damn near every single soldier with Conqueror's hockey. Didn't even lay a hand <laughs> on him. Just hit him with the sauce. But he wasn't done. He ends up webbing up all the other Marines' guns and made them oh, all aim yeah. at each other. And this man That's elegantly made them all shoot each other while hitting this Bro, saucy what? ass flip. Oh my goodness. He's so Bro, extra. Murdered, I don't know <laughs> how many people, but he did it in the sauciest way possible. So then this one Marine is begging eat. for his life. He like, please, I have a family. <laughs> Nigga, fuck your family. They I had a family too. Of your broke ass. I know you don't get no paper. I know your bitch be fucking ah. niggas behind your back. You fucking knock. So what got so bad? Smoke. Do, do he realize he killed his own dad? You think he cared about his family? Do he realize that every man don't Right, know? right. <laughs> Joker had to intervene. Yeah, whole new family oh my show. god, this man got washed. Look at his sorry ass. He can't even land a hit. This is why you're not making Admiral, buddy. Embarrassing. Bro tried to punch him in the dick. Duffy looked at him like, whoa, slow down there, you freaky fuck. And this is how you know this man smoker is washed. This man already breathing heavy as hell, and they only been fighting for 30 seconds. But then some of Smoker's men end up coming and try to bail him out. But bro tried to be chivalrous and save him, but ends up getting met with razor sharp strings and ends up getting flung. And after Smoker got cooked, Dofi just got real disrespectful. He sat on bro, grabbed his face like your mama about to beat your ass, and was about to kill him. But Smoker ended up getting the bail out of the century. Because Al Kiji pulled up and said, Said, all right, big dog, we're going to have to stop. And you see, Doflamingo was a smart man because he knows he can't win this fight. You think he's going to fight a formal admiral and get embarrassed? Hell nah. Mm. Bro said, I'll take my mm. leave. I got bigger he fish to fry. And that fish, of course, is Law in the Straw Hats. And especially mm. Law because these niggas got generational oh, no, they beef. Got the Dofi trial. Exhibit B wrap up. Assault and battery. Murder, mass murder. murder, arms trafficking, drug manufacturing, possession, and trafficking. Exhibit C. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, nah. it is now time for Exhibit C, Corazon. So, there oh. is a reason why Law has mad beef with Dofi. And it all started 16 years ago. Now, when yeah. Law first came to Doflamingo, he was very sick. He had white lead disease and his whole family is dead because the world government decided to murder everybody in that town because they all had that disease. So they raccoon the city that bitch. Now, Law didn't have that much time left to live, but Dofi kept him around and said, there's a chance that you might be able to live if you get this devil fruit called the op-op fruit because you'll be able to heal yourself. Also, the fruit's busted. So Law ended up sticking around with him doing some piracy robbing some banks and of course catching bodies and dofi's main objective was basically to groom law to become his right hand man now here's where everything goes to shit corazon aka doflamingo's brother rosinante basically told him hey little nigga you got d in your name and if dofi figures out you got d in your name he gonna kill your little ass because if you got the big B in your name, you are a mortal enemy of the <laughs> celestial dragons. And also, Corazon is a narc. Hey, I'm a rat. I ain't no snitch. He is a undercover marine trying to take down his evil brother. So you can kind of see what this is. These two are basically opposites and the what ifs of a tragic outcome. Doflamingo wants to burn the fucking world because fuck everybody. And Corazon wants to do good in the world and basically stop his brother because he's a crazy bastard. So Corazon ends up taking law around for like six months trying to find a cure for his disease and getting him away from Dofi. Now, while this was going on, Dofi called them and said, come back to the ship. We got a lead on the op-op fruit and we can cure. 
severe lost disease. Now with this in mind, Corazon decided, let's just go steal it so we can cure your disease and go into hiding. So Corazon gets the information from the Navy to where the fruit actually is. So later on, they end up getting to the island and Corazon ends up stealing the fruit, but at the expense of getting shot the fuck up. So after bro got shot up but somehow survived, he made law eat the fruit. And now that he told him, that was crazy. <laughs> What? Bro, he said, why do you do that to him like that? Uh, he wanted to shoot him that bad. He had to shove it up in his mouth like that. He's crazy for that one. No, well, no. He he had done. This is some important intel I need you to give to the Navy that's on this island right now. So while Law went to go search for a Marine to give the note to, he found one, <laughs> but the wrong one. Because the Marine he gave it to was Virgo. Dofi's undercover agent bro, in the Marines. Bro. So Law brought yeah, Virgo job. all the way back to Corazon, and Virgo was like, what the fuck, Corazon? Oh, you narc-ass nigga. And Virgo ended up reading the intel. Yeah, one job. Kicks his face in. And Virgo did not hold back. He beat the shit out of Corazon. Yeah, and then after that, he beat one. Law's ass. Me personally? Oh. So then after they get their ass beat, Dofi arrives on the island, and this man is dripped out of his mind and pissed because his own brother was a rat. And Doflamingo knew something was off too because those six months that Corazon was gone, the Navy was off their ass. And every time Corazon was there, the Navy was there. So it was all over for his little bro. Dofi ends up setting up his bird cage over the island so nobody can leave. And he just went on a rampage until he found his brother, killing literally anybody and everybody that was in his way. So later on, when the family finally finds Corazon, they jump the hell out of this man, beat the rat piss out of him, and play baseball with his body. Hold on. Oh, and this was just horrible. This man Gladius went to his body and said, How dare you betray the family, you rat ass nigga? So after they jumped him, Doflamingo oh, came up <laughs> and said, that. My baby brother, a fucking narc. <laughs> Fuck you, nigga. Corazon, you know how hard it is to kill your own flesh and blood. Again, and my God, it, it pays Again? me to do it. Yeah, but yeah. do me a favor, baby brother, and say a load of pops for me. Oh, no. I didn't need to be reminded this of that. Yeah, I was going to say, uh, he didn't have to say that kind of say, pop, hey, say how's it uh, pops for me. That's, crazy. Pops for me. That's crazy. Uh, yeah, the that's disrespect. Crazy. Yeah. Well, Flamingo dumped about 10 bullets in this ten nigga bullets. and murdered ten his Another one, thank you. little brother in cold blood. The, the dope <laughs> tribe. Oh, my God. Exhibit C wrap up. Piracy. Grand Ooh. larceny. Murder. Mass murder. Mass murder. <laughs> Oh my God. Exhibit D. Oh, I got the D in the It is now time for Exhibit D. The usurpation of Dress Rosa. Now, nah, Don Flamingo, as we know, is the king of Dress Rosa. But how did he become king? Yeah, <laughs> you might need to sit back for this one. So, 10 years before the present, Dress Rosa was a very peaceful nation that knew no types of war and had an honest king named King Riku. Now, the people loved King Riku. They'd glaze this man to the end of the earth. But sadly, this would change in a single night. So, on that Everything tragic night, Don attack. Flamingo flew to the king's private quarters. So, he pulled up, woke this nigga up, and said, <laughs> Don't even try calling for help, or I will slit your fucking throat right now. So, Dofi basically explained to the king that this land, matter of fact, this whole country belongs to me. And I finally come back to take back what's rightfully mine. So, the thing is that the Don Quixote family used to rule over Dress Rosa about a good 800 years ago. Till they abandoned it and became celestial dragons and now Dofi is back to claim what's his now he gave the king a ultimatum he basically told him we can either a i will take over this entire kingdom and kill everybody or b you can buy my kingdom for 10 billion berries genocide or run your pockets so obviously the king had no choice he had to run his pockets 
but he ain't Take having my enough money. money. So for the, the sake of the kingdom, he had to my send money. out his soldiers and beg the people for money. And obviously the people are confused. They like, but King Riku, we just paid our taxes a month ago. Yeah, man, this is some bullshit. Again. I pay my child support. I just got pregnant the other day. Take care of my child. So King Riku had real to life. get on the yeah, big yeah. screen. That's real life. Get on all fours and said, Please, we're broke. I know. It's shit, y'all just pay taxes. But fuck, we need this goddamn money. So the people said, You know what? Something must be wrong. Our glorious king needs help. So every single citizen they had emptied every dime they had because they trusted bro, the king. Because he ain't ever done So everything seems to be fine. They paid off Doflamingo and they should be scot free, right? Psych. In the oh, distance, you thought you see this man King Riku coming at them on a horse. So obviously the soldiers think, Ah, King Riku, we got the money. You didn't have to come all the way out here. But this man King Riku is crying and saying, Run away! I beg your pardon. And the king starts slaying people and blowing shit up. No, so you already know what's going on in the shadows. Do Flamingo is controlling this man and making him kill oh, his own didn't tell That shit was crazy. There was a option yeah. C. And that was like that's evil, evil as fuck. Come on. Side and He's like, give me your money. And the king was the only people. one getting control. Dolphy money. decided to control Watch the soldiers money. as well and made them <laughs> slaughter everybody. And they didn't spare nobody. Look at this. <laughs> this is a mama and her son. Oh my, he's making me mad more. Yeah, mm -hmm. tell you, ain't no trauma make you like that. Like you psychopath since day one, even before your trauma. Yeah, no he's way. the equivalent of evil in Sukuna. He's yeah. literally they're both the same. Oh, Sukuna, yeah, I forgot. Yeah, yes. He don't care. Look at this shit. poor couple. His brother just got <laughs> done baking at the bakery with all this cake, just for this man King Riku to come <laughs> and blow birthday backs out. And this went on oh, for the whole night. Now, here's the part that's going to make you sick. Doflamingo and his crew are just up here watching this. And when the time was right, he said, all right, boys, it's showtime. These niggas hop down and knock out these soldiers, getting everybody's attention. And Doflamingo says, greetings, everyone. My name is Don Quixote Doflamingo, and I've come to save you. What? Oh wow! That shit is crazy. Yeah. Manipulation. Boo! Now, this is a straight Homelander ass <laughs> move. Bro made the king oh, and joke. his guards kill their own people just to come in and save the day. And this was I the tragic part. He controlled oh, the king what? and said, "Come on over. Make sure you look good for the camera." So Bro jumps down and smacks the shit out this nigga on live Man. TV in front of everybody. And just off of that, this Cut man just committed the greatest PR stunt of all time. Because the people are like, oh, oh my god, he, he, he saved us! No, he yeah. Yo, Tank, <laughs> Tank again! Bro. This man's name. Oh my the god. Yeah. He's the like a hero, bro. He really set this up to go say them to look like a hero in front of the people. That's crazy. Mm -hmm, yep. Fraud. Evil. Evil. While hoisting the king's body in the air like a trophy. And that night, Doflamingo usurped the throne and became the king of Dressrosa. That now, after Doflamingo became king, he started to do some even more evil shit. For an example, using sugar to turn damn near half the population into toys and wow. making their families forget about them, well, forced these Tantata low niggas Jeez. to basically be slaves <laughs> and work in his drug lab, had some of the old soldiers become gladiators and forced them to basically kill each other. And apparently he did something with Viola. I don't even know if this is true, but a lot of people say it is. So uh, I'm gonna just leave this here. Freaky ass nigga, mm, he a 69 mm, god. Freaky ass nigga, he a 69 god. The Dofi tribe. Sort of follow lava boy. Wrap up. Blackmail. Genocide. Usurpation. Brainwashing. Slavery. Exhibit E. All righty, ladies and gentlemen. How it is much now more? Time for our final exhibit. He exhibit E. The heavenly demon. 
We now set our sights on an island called Green Bit, just off the coast of Dress Rosa, and we are observing a trade, well, what was supposed to be a trade, between Law and Doflamingo. Now, Law took Caesar as hostage after Punk Hazard to get some leverage on Doflamingo and make him leave the Warlords so he would lose his Navy immunity. And also, Dofi needs Caesar to make some more of his Smile product. But tragically for Law, this plan failed miserably because Doflamingo was two steps ahead. Because this man used his <laughs> celestial dragon and leverage on the government and falsify the whole story about how he left the warlords when in reality he didn't and he had this man law shook he ain't know what the fuck to do his whole plan blew up in his face so law was like ah shit well I'm just skedaddle. So this man Law got the running. Well, Don Flamingo was hawking his ass down. And it didn't help that Fuji Torres ass was here trying to drop meteors on the nigga. And this man Law was fighting for his life in this jungle. Look at Dofi come behind him. Nigga finger sniped him. Brought this man Law to his knees. Then he came down and told him, I that, that you ain't going nowhere, little nigga. I've been waiting to kill your ass for 13 motherfucking years. And look at Dofi, bro. This nigga think he's Spider-Man. I've been just webbing shit up and throwing it at him. And I don't even know how long this game of tag lasted for because we know how that dress rosa pacing was good god but anyways bro they hey, ended up getting to the yeah. beach and while Duffy's chasing law he ends up hearing a loud ass scream and it was from the sunny from chopper nami and brooke being loud as shit Strong. and Duffy just looked over there with a big old <laughs> smile on his face like oh law you dumb fucked you. up now so this man flew over to the ship oh, to the bottom, and Duffy was ready to make the sunny the titanic but out of nowhere here huh? comes final form simp sanji out here yelling at this man like stay my away God. from my nummy swan like dog come on she not gonna let you <laughs> hit but anyways Dofi did not take this fight seriously at all look at him he got this big ass grin on his face then this man threw out his attack backflip for style points and told him well hello there buddy let's not burn the coat this shit costs more than your life <laughs> <laughs> Bro had this man Sanji cooked in one hit. But Sanji started thinking to himself while he was free falling. Oh, if I beat Doflamingo, Nami Swan might let me hit. Yeah. Oh. So this man Sanji got a second win and started trying to kick the life out of this man. But Dofi just put out his hand and said, time out. Bro had this man Sanji just stuck in the air. And Bro just looked at him and told him, the fuck I just told you about fucking up my coat. I already told your ass this shit costs more than your life. So this man charged up his overheat and he was ready to kill Sanji. But right when Oof. Dofi was about to hit him, here come Law with the room. And he ended up teleporting Dofi away from Sanji. And you could tell this man Dofi had the intent to kill this man. Because he had to throw the attack out and it landed all the way back in Dress Rosa and just cut a building in half. Yeah, buddy, that's attempted murder. You tried to put this simp six feet under. So this man Law had to take this miniature big back big mom as a hostage. So the straw has to <laughs> stay. Later big on, big they end up having a standoff on this bridge. And I kid y'all not, what? this was not a fight. This was a sheep coming to the slaughter. I mean, look at this man, Law. He running for his life again. My Doflamingo's just cutting the bridge in half and yelling at him like, what's wrong, pussy? I thought you was gonna spin back the Cora, but you still a bitch. But Law at least tried something. He tried to throw all the debris at him, but Dofi just cut it to pieces. Then Law tries to come behind him, but Dofi hits a perfect parry, dodges the attack, then shatters this man's jaw with his foot, and the beating just got worse from here. This was like a parent whooping their kid's ass for being disobedient as hell. I mean, look at this. He came down and kicked the shit out of him again, then just started spamming bullet strings at him. Even took out his legs. Bro was literally rolling around and screaming in pain. And this wasn't even the worst part. Doflamingo walked up to him, lifted up his hand, and he slapped this nigga across Dress Rosa. And oh the god, this was probably this man's most savage moment in the whole crazy. series. Law is already cooked, but Doflamingo decided. Remember oh my god. Remember poisoning Law? Let's see if you remember how that felt. And he started dumping bullets of lead in oh him. Man. And look at his freaky oh. ass nigga. Out here licking the blood. Hell oh. right. And Law was done. He should have been dead. The crazy. amount of plot armor Law had in this arc is ridiculous because this is not the first time bro should have died as we will see later so now we fast forward a fat minute all the way till sugar got knocked out and all the toys turn into people again and the whole population turns on doflamingo because they realize they wait a minute this nigga's up. an asshole how how like three the years into toys brainwashed us and how many years what you just say how many years it took them to realize that he was 13 or something 13 years 13 
Finally realized, man. That shit is crazy. Bro, bro, man, get really this nigga out of here. So then the one-legged demon Kiros came in and cut off this man's head. And everybody's in shock. Everybody like, oh my God. Dolphy just died to a side character? Psych! Psych! Niggas thought it was gonna be that easy. Yeah, this man could use string clone jutsu. So he now what? heroes and kicked the roof oh. over the palace. Oh. Good God, this man got some strong oh, ass mess with them fucking leg hairs he got. So then here come Luffy trying to be a hero, even though he's a terrorist. Out here trying to hit that man with that hey. Jack Gatlin. But the clone came like Luffy. behind him, blew his back out. Then Dolphy looked at him, cocked back, back his out. fist and told him, Get the fuck I, off my uh, property, oh. broke ass nigga. Hit Luffy so hard, probably made him even more stupid in the head. So he made Pika throw everybody <laughs> off the cliff. And at this point, it was over for everybody in Just Rosa. This man set up the birdcage, got on the big screen and said, People of Dress Rosa. I'm just gonna go ahead and let y'all know this now. I have fucking hated all you stinky ass peasants ever since I came to this fucking island. So now all you broke ass niggas can go fuck yourselves. So let's play a game. If you kill any of these bitch ass niggas on this board, especially that long nosed Pinocchio nappy headed ass fuck, I will make you rich. What is it? Like, yeah, I'm gonna oh, do it. And you also have 24 hours before I destroy this fucking island. So this man oh, don't think since the island is the chaos. This man started another genocide just because he got pissed another off. One, thank so you. now it was finally time for the Malice at the Palace One Piece Edition. Law and Luffy versus Doflamingo. Oh, I forgot. And Bellamy's here. Bruh. Bro was emotionally <laughs> abusing this man the entire arc. We all know that Bellamy's this man's biggest glazer. So Doflamingo decided to use this man as <laughs> a puppet. Look at Luffy. Bro tried to kick him. And Doflamingo just used Bellamy's face as a human shield. He was straight up abusing this nigga. Then look at him. He put bro on some strings and said, dance nigga. Go fuck up that walking condom for me. But Law and Luffy was just mad at Doflamingo for just watching him in that chair. So they hit that man with that Red Hawk team up and Luffy really punched the shit out this man. This is the first time you see bro actually hurt. Bro mad as hell thinking in his head like, motherfucker, yeah. you know what just did he get hit by this nigga in them broke ass sandals? Well that man Doffy said, hell nah, you ain't getting away with that one, buddy. So bro started spamming them bullet strings at Luffy, sent his stupid ass flying again. Then he decided to stab the shit out of law. Bro says, hit your bitch ass down before I beat the shit out you again, boy. Then he hit this man Luffy with a nasty combo. Bro launched him in the air, grabbed him with his strings, then yanked him all the way back to Bellamy, who he was controlling, and sliced him. Oh my goodness. These boys was really getting cooked by a man with a flamingo coat mm. and some short ass capris. So Maybe don't forget Luffy's face <laughs> again. Capris, bro. Him and Law and making Luffy fight Bellamy. And my god, Law. This man took probably the worst beating in the series right here. Just look at this. Dolphy ended up grabbing he Law. Then be. makes them both somersault, crashing into the ground, and amputated this nigga Law's arm. I Another forgot about that. Case where Law should be dead in this arc. But this next part is really when Law should have been fucking dead. Dolphy walks <laughs> up to him, puts the gun up to him, and tells him, die like the broke ass nigga you are. Then just started shooting this man over and over and over oh, and over done. again. Fire. He shot so many bullets in him, he kept on pulling the trigger thinking he bro, had some more. Bro. And again, this is another instance of where Law should have died in this arc. Nigga cheated death three times just for Stop, him to man. get up. I mean, he's turning him there, right. I guess. <laughs> and Law really thought he was him right here. He was talking crazy to Doflamingo and saying, yeah. This might get back for Cora, nigga. So he hits Doki with a counter shot, basically with all the power he has left. And Law think he done killed him. But no, <laughs> this man rose from the dead like the Undertaker. And you want to know how this man survived that attack? He Bro. stitched his organs together with his string. Nigga gave himself surgery oh. mid-fight. So Doflamingo is standing over Law, about to smash this man's head in nah, and get right a fatality. Here. But Hold here it. come Luffy, Luffy bailing out Law. Day. Nigga, how many times has Luffy bailed out this fucking arc? Like, dog, you should be dead. This nigga Law got to be a cat or some shit, because he got to yeah, have like nine lives or something. So here comes that <laughs> nigga Luffy to go. himself. Bro kicked off them dusty, busted, broke-ass sandals Ooh. and transformed Ooh. into this <laughs> fat-ass balloon. So obviously when Doflamingo first saw Gear Force, he was laughing his ass off. Blood was like, what the fuck is this? Am I supposed to be scared of you, nigga? You turned into a balloon. But Luffy was done playing games. Balloon. He punched the living shit out of 
about Dolphy. Mm-hmm. This man flew all the way down to the streets. And I ain't gonna lie, Dolphy started getting dog walked. This man ain't felt so much pain since he was getting beat as a child. So this man, Doflamingo, went to his last resort. He said, fuck it. I'm already destroying the country, so I might as well turn everything into string. So he ends up using his awakening and just throwing buildings of just string at him. But Luffy still did not care. He flew over to this man and hit him with that Leo bazooka. And Dolphy went to flying and just pinned in the mountain. This fight should have been over right here. But nope. The plot kicked in. Because Luffy ran out of time on Gear Force. And literally deflated right before he was about to finish him. And this gave Dolphy enough time to recover. And this man was more pissed off than ever. He went on <laughs> a <mean>. rampage <laughs> looking for this man Luffy. Bro started killing everybody. It got to the point where if you got in this man's way, you died. Then he started moving the birdcage in closer. He was about to wipe the whole island off the map. Yeah, so then here comes Viola trying to do something against the 69 guy. And I'm not even going to waste no time like, on this. Like, know what happened. She got beat the fuck up. I don't yeah, even know girl, why she tried um, this. Like, shorty, no. You are her getting your ass back. She's your girl. She's your girl. This, bro. I started hanging her by the string. Oh, no, nah, nigga. My nigga, this is hey. harassment. Nah, buddy. You're done. You're done after this. We Perfect. know you did it. That allegation had to be true, especially after this scene. You was not like us, buddy. This image is staying exactly like it is. Bro. You tried to make Rebecca kill her dog. Nah, this man, Doflamingo, is pure evil. This man is a sick-ass nigga. So thank God Luffy finally came over, and he said, Hell nah, yo ass is going to jail. So he charged up that King Kong gun and yelled at that nigga, take your freaky ass to impel down and blasted this man Dofi through the earth's crust. Oh and it was over. Anime Diddy was finally defeated. Anime Diddy, anime so Drake after Andy. this, they <laughs> locked this man oh my in the God. depths of impel down. And this man should never get out again. But let's be honest with ourselves. Sometime sooner or later, this nigga's getting out. Somebody gonna make the car. Yeah. Jayoma. Oh, yeah. Jayoma. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, with all these damn charges, this is why this man is God. on this round table. There should be no Time discussion. Four. This is one sick ass nigga. So yeah, uh, the faded Doflamingo deal. <laughs> we finally did it. Now y'all know damn well what might happen to this. So uh, hey, fingers crossed. Uh, like the video for good luck, I guess. Hey, and hopefully we make it through. But anyways, man, hope y'all enjoy. And until then, I'm out this house. That was a she crazy video. Guess what, guys? Yeah. I did the video for y'all again. Y'all told me to do the video for the second time, so don't complain in the comment section. Say, Randy, you did it or watch it. You guys told me to bring new people, and guess what? They cosplay. But that was crazy, ladies, right, though? What y'all got to say about this, lady? Started with anybody. What y'all got to say about this? Doflamingo is a very sick person. Very. Like, it seemed like murder is just like a hobby to him. He just, he, just, oh, he likes doing it. Like, <laughs> murder on his mind always. Jeez, all the time. The <laughs> but he's a good villain, though. Like, that's that's what I think about when I think about the villain. Like, bro, I'm gonna kill anybody. <laughs> Full fun. And I'm like, I, I don't like that. Yeah. But a good villain. Yeah. He ain't think it's twice. Nope. I'm not gonna lie. I think he loves Sukuna, but he's evil as hell. Same with this one. <laughs> super, but I don't. He's just. Oh. Sick. He's a psycho. Psychopath. Yeah, we knew that. Bro, you kill your family. Like that. <laughs> yeah, man. That's crazy. That's how you know you even when you wiped out your own family. You you wiped out kids with family. Your brother, your your dad. Everybody. Like, that's crazy though. A bro. whole town, the cities. No, the whole thing with the king, I completely forgot about that. I was like, bro, you just sabotaged the whole fucking kingdom, took over, and told them there was their king. Yeah. Like fraud. Fraud. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Like, that shit is crazy. Yeah, that was insane. Mm. But yeah, man, if you guys enjoyed this video, hit the like button and subscribe. If y'all want us to react to some more CJ Champ and you want some more cosplay on my channel, please let me know. Let's at least aim for 5,000 likes on this video. And I just did another CJ the Champ video on my channel, his newest video. So go watch that right now. The anime is uh, Serial Killers 2. So go watch that. Go follow all these ladies on social media. It's going to be all in the description right now. So go follow. I love you guys. Peace out. Let's go.